A medical team at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago has used a special device to save a coronavirus infected patient's life. Now reporter Hush, Chris Hush, explains how this could become an alternative to a ventilator under dire circumstances. It oxygenates, it removes the carbon dioxide. It's a device used on flu patients at Northwestern Medicine just three months ago. Today, for the first time at Northwestern, that same machine has saved the life of a patient with coronavirus. Without this um, ability to get this patient to the higher, a higher level of care, the outcome could have been much different. McHenry Hospital's chief nurse executive, Katie Schmidt, says the medical team made its first transport of an ECMO machine from downtown to McHenry Hospital within hours. That's all the time the patient had. The two teams had to come together and brief on the situation and almost do a simulation in their minds. This is their last ditch effort. ECMO is only used in the most severe cases. The machine removes the blood from the body, then pumps oxygen into the blood. Think of it as an external heart or a lung allowing the damaged organs to rest. All the gas exchange happens in this oxygenator, and from there, through this uh, red tubing, the blood gets uh, uh, transported back to the patient. Today, the patient is off of ECMO and is expected to make a full recovery from the coronavirus. Although ECMO isn't the first option to replace a ventilator, Northwestern's Dr. Ankit Bharat says it's an option that can buy time. It needs to be done at very, very very select centers. It's just a very resource intensive uh, technology. And with hundreds or thousands of new cases every day, time is of the essence. At this time, there is no approved COVID-19 treatment from the Food and Drug Administration, though some drugs have showed promise in fighting the illness. Still to come, Hutch returns from Weather Center East with an update on your Friday weather planner.